Mr. Speaker, after 10 U turns in two weeks, we're left with a Prime Minister in office, but not in power. And families are paying through the teeth for her mistakes. Her latest broken promise has put pensioners in the front line of Tory cuts. So, can the Prime Minister perhaps turn to her Chancellor right now, get permission to make another U turn, and commit to raising the state pension at the rate of inflation? Yeah. Prime Minister. I honestly don't know what the Honourable Gentleman is talking about because. In our manifesto that we will maintain the triple lock and I am completely committed to it, so is the Chancellor. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's no surprising that the Prime Minister's approval ratings are collapsing with an answer like that. The worst polling result for any Prime Minister in history. She's just thrown 12 million pensioners under the Tory bus. And it's not just pensioners feeling the pain. I also want to hear Mr Blackburn. Mr Speaker, it's not just pensioners feeling the pain. In the last week alone, inflation has risen to a 40-year high. Mortgage rates are at the highest level since the financial crash. And people's energy bills are about to rise to more than £5,000. Can the Prime Minister answer one simple question? Why does she expect everyone else to pay the price for her failure? Prime Minister. I don't think the honourable gentleman can take yes for an answer. I've been clear. I've been clear we are protecting the triple lock on pensions. And if and if the if the honourable gentleman is concerned about the economy, why does he continue to advocate for separatism, which would plunge the Scottish economy into chaos?